breaking news, Nigerians. The River State House of Assembly, led by the Martin Amewili, has issued a seven-day ultimatum to Governor Similayi Fubara to represent the 2024 budget to the House. Guys, it's happening. Now, this order follows the first sitting of these lawmakers, loyal to the FCT Minister Nyesong Wike, on Monday, after a few months of their absence in office. And their sitting comes amid the, the judgments from the court. The other house, led by the Victor Oko Jumbo, also held a parallel sitting on Monday. It was reported that these two factions of the lawmakers in River State held parallel sittings on Monday. And Fubara had earlier presented this budget to the other house loyal to him when the current chief of staff, Edison Ehi, was presided as the speaker of the House of Assembly in Rivers. When he was the speaker of the House of Assembly, Governor Fubara presented the state budget to Edison Ehi. And Edison and other pro-Fubara lawmakers had passed the budget estimate and the governor signed the bill into law. He stated that it was aimed at promoting economic development, inclusive growth, and addressing social economic uh, e equality in the state. Now, I wonder, this statement from these pro Mwike lawmakers asking Governor Fubara to represent the budget. Guys, this is serious. So, you see, before they left office, they were busy plotting impeachment, plot on Governor Fubara, how to impeach him here and there, while also trying to force the governor to, to represent, to present the state budget. Because back then, before their impeachment plots against Governor Fubara, they had tried making Fubara to present the state budget, which Fubara did not present at that time because of the crisis going on in the Rivers House of Assembly. So he kind of delayed him himself presenting the state budget to these lawmakers because he felt that they were not trusted. So after they had the campment from the, from the PDP to the APC, when the crisis started in the reverse assembly, Fubara presented his budget to Edison Ehi when Martin Emewili was removed as the speaker of the Rivers, River State House of Assembly. He presented the budget to Martins, to, to uh, Edison Ehi instead of Martins Emeweli. And then, you know, Fubara has already presented this budget. So I wonder why they are now coming back to tell Fubara to represent the budget. The budget that has already been presented, signed into law by Edison Ehi, led assembly. So guys, this is just interesting though. It seems that the crisis in the reverse assembly deepens as the pro wiki lawmakers give Fubara seven days. So Fubara has gotten an ultimatum from these guys that he has only seven days old to make sure he represents the budget to them because the first budget he presented, they were not available at that moment. They were not available. That was when they were chased out of the assembly. And uh, the River State Assembly complex was, uh, a section of it was burnt down. And a few weeks after, the governor sent bulldozers to bring down the structures, you know, claiming that the, the fire that raised the building had made the building uh, unsafe for use. So he brought down the structures. And when he presented that, that budget, it was, uh, that budget was presented to the River's lawmakers at the Rivers Government House, where Fubara presented that budget to Edison Ehi led Rivers Assembly. So now that these guys are back, it seems that they are back, you know. But then, River State has two fashions of lawmakers those that are loyal to Fubara, those that are loyal to um, Yeso Muike. So this is coming barely, you know, after a few days of the court orders. On Monday, they went to the River State House of Assembly to hold, you know, meetings, to hold their first sitting. And it was a parallel sitting because the other lawmakers, the pro-Fubara lawmakers, were also, heading, uh, were, were also holding meetings that uh, Monday. So 
amid these sittings by these lawmakers, they raised this issue of Fubara representing the budget to them. So, guys, this is really getting out of hands. It seems that they are hell bent on disturbing the peace in the states. Fubara has presented this budget to the River State lawmakers. The lawmakers that are recognized, although the lawmakers present that day, when Fubara presented the budget, they were not much, you know, they were minority. The, 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 as in they were the lesser uh, lawmakers, those few lawmakers loyal to Fubara, Fubara presented the budget to them. So I don't know how Fubara will now go back and represent this budget to them. So this is this game is getting interesting. Oh. This game is getting interesting and it is getting tougher. Because why would they demand for Fubara to represent the budget to them when the budget has already been passed into law? Is it possible? Are they trying to send the governor on an errand? What business do they have in telling the governor to represent the budget to them? Who are they to, you know, to make such threats to the governor? So if Governor Fubara doesn't present the budget to them within these seven days that they've given him, this seven days ultimatum, what does it mean? Does it automatically mean that they are threatening him? Does it mean that if he doesn't present the budget to them within seven days, they will impeach him because that will be their next that will be their next plot. In fact, that is what they are trying to do. They are trying to look for excuses to, you know, paint Fubara as a bad person. So long as Fubara has presented that budget, I don't see any reason why Fubara should represent the budget to them. They are just looking for trouble in the reverse assembly. This is just the first day of their sitting. I don't even know if their sitting is even legal, if it's a legal sitting, because we're quite we're shocked when we got the news that these guys are already in the reverse assembly holding sittings. And then I wondered how come they now, you know, have their own uh, fashion and they are holding sittings. That sittings is it recognized by the law? Do the River State Assembly recognize them as you know, lawmakers, it's worrisome. Oh. It is worrisome because they are trying to tell the governor to bring it for them to approve. So the one that has been approved by the Edison ehi led assembly. So does it mean that it doesn't count? Does it mean that that particular one doesn't count? So guys, this is actually, you know, it, it's serious. It is really serious, guys. I don't know if they are looking for a death sentence for Governor Fubara in that state. They are just trying to, you know, give this man more problems in the state. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.